This is Delta Mission Control at T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Main engine ignition. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying WGS-4 for the United States Air Force. The wideband global SATCOM satellite provides significantly increased capacity to our joint warfighters and Australian international partners. Here in the voice of Steve Agate providing launch vehicle descent data. Chamber pressures beginning to decline in the solid rocket motors as expected. Thirty six seconds, Mach one. Vehicle now going transonic. Vehicle has now reached Mach 1. Very stable. Delta Chamber pressure rocket in the main engine. At the speed of sound. As we're passing 45 seconds into the flight. Coming up 50 seconds. Mark 50 seconds. Max Q. Maximum dynamic pressure in the vehicle. Altitude now passing 7 nautical miles. Passing the 1 minute mark. Solid burnout expected about uh, 30 seconds from now. Altitude now coming up on 10 nautical miles, velocity 3,485 feet per second, downrange distance 6.9 nautical miles. One minute, 17 seconds in. Chamber pressure holding very well on the main engine. Passing one minute, 25 seconds. 10 seconds away from solid burnout. That burnout, standing by for SEP. And we have separation before solid motors have separated from the vehicle. The Delta IV rocket only now weighs one half of what it did at launch, expelling propellant at around 1,850 pounds per second. Coming up on the two minute mark. This is Delta mark, Mission Control. Two minutes into the flight. L plus two minutes, three seconds into the flight. The Delta IV WGS 4. Mission is uh, two minutes into the flight. Steve Agat just confirmed jettison of the four solid rocket motors, and the mission is continuing as expected. Our next event is payload fairing jettison. It's scheduled to take place in less than two minutes from now. Let's go back to Steve Agat. Good engine control on the first stage and pitch and yaw. Two minutes, 40 seconds in, still looking good. Altitude, uh, 46 nautical miles, velocity 8,679 feet per second, downrange distance 75 nautical miles. Next major event is the uh, separation of the payload fairing less than 30 seconds from now. Passing 3 minutes, 10 seconds. Altitude now passing 61 nautical miles. Good engine control on the first stage. Standing by for fairing SEP. And we have fairing separation. Three minutes, 40 seconds in. Altitude now, 79.2 nautical miles. Velocity, 14,012 feet per second. Downrange distance, 166 nautical miles. Coming up on the four minute mark. At that time, we'll be toggling to the partial thrust mode. And we have the partial thrust command. Main engine chamber pressure decreasing to the partial thrust level, standing by from Miko. And we have Miko, the main engine has cut off, standing by for stage separation. And we have separation, the first and second stages have separated. The net speed is increasing, the nozzle is beginning to deploy, standing by for igniter spark. And we have igniter spark, standing by for ignition, and we have ignition, ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressure beginning to rise, good steady state value in the second stage. Four minutes, 41 seconds in. Now beginning to recover. This is nicely. Delta Mission Control at 
Alpha Flight 4 minutes, 47 seconds, uh, mission elapsed time. The mission is continuing uh, as expected. You just heard Steve Agate report the successful execution of the events comprising the early part of tonight's mission. The payload fairing was successfully jettisoned. The uh, first stage main engine cut off. First stage was separated and the second stage ignition uh, began. We're now in the first of two planned second stage engine burns and this burn will last just over 16 minutes, ending about 15 minutes from now.